Hi guys, I'm Christy, always and forever, and this is Hook Me Up Crochet. And I'm going to have to try to uh, record this while I'm holding my camera again. My camera, my phone. Mm -hmm. One of them days. Actually, it's been a really good day. Go figure. But, what are we here for? I've got some crochet to show you, and I've got some Christmas things to show you. Why is she showing us Christmas stuff? I think it's because of all this uh, Christmas in July fairies stuff. <laughs> okay? It's got me thinking about things I used to do, and I just thought I would share them with you real quick if you're interested. And if you make it beyond that, then I'll show you what I crocheted recently. Oh, I had a hair under my arm. My hair is super long, y'all. Like, long, and it gets in my way. On with the show. <laughs> So, back when I still had a family, prior to the divorce and when my kids were little, I used to love to make salt dough ornaments. And these are cookies, obviously. And they're just salt dough, you know, salt, flour, water. And I hope I didn't just put my finger right over the speaker. They got holes in them so that you can put the hangers in them and hang them from the tree. And so they got actual sugar sprinkles on them. But um, then I dip them in wax like two or three times to, to kind of seal them, you know. And something else I used to make with salt dough, if I can get it turned around here, doing this all with one hand, <laughs> is these um, candy canes. Yeah, that's what they're called, candy canes. So, but I would form them and bake them and then paint them and then sand them down to make them look like the wood was showing through to make them look real rustic. I hope that's not messing up, but, because I love rustic stuff. Like I don't want my, I never wanted my tree to look like it walked out of Bloomingdale's. I wanted it to look like it walked out of some primitive backwoods. I mean, listen, you hear my accent, right? <laughs> so, and then, other than that, the other, salt dough things I used to love to make were these little gingerbread guys and um got these little um uh, things tied on <laughs> tied from a tree I can't think right now man and uh these are sprinkled with cinnamon and coffee grounds and they still 20 years later still smell like cinnamon mm -hmm. they sure do and they're also wax dipped now these I did make with a cookie cutter but but the cookies and the and the candy canes hand formed so that's something I've really been enjoying that was along the lines of Christmas and something else Christmassy I'm only gonna show you three I made probably three dozen of these and there again I probably did this 15 years ago easily as my kids grew out of their jeans I would um, make stockings out of of them And I do apologize if uh, the lighting in here is bad. You may need to turn the light up on your phone or whatever device. Divorce? Whatever device you're using to watch this on. Anyway, it has my little tag. It says Handmade with Love by Chrissy Clipper. I put bells on all of them. Tied a little bit of a gingham strip fabric. Just to, there again to keep in my whole rustic vibe. And they're all um, denim. Except with just a few little changes. And here's the last one I'm going to show you. But they've all got the frayed ends and all that good stuff. And I um, was big into scrapbooking. So I had uh, tea stained these tags and then stamped them and whatnot. And oh, my nose is itching. So there's that. And when I wasn't, um, you know, doing all that kind of stuff, I was, I used to be a big time in the scrapbooking, like big time. Um, and I made, this is just one of the little albums that I made. Hold on a minute, let me see if I can get a hold of this better. This is made with paper bags. Folded and spiral bound. And then just tie up a whole bunch of ribbons and fabric strips in keeping with my whole rustic 
thing. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I used to work the, um, all the scrapbook conventions. I met Henry Winkler, which if you're old enough to know who that is, it's Fonzie. Yeah, he was there. So, the pages, uh, they've got hidden things that flip open and the bags open and there are stickers and journaling cards and photo mm, tags and all kinds of stuff in those. But I'm not going to take real long to, to show you. And the reason why I'm showing you this, well this i got to show you. This slides up, it's a, a peekaboo picture area. See that? And slides back down. But you can add more pictures or any other memorabilia from vacations or whatnot and store them inside of these. And this is about a, um, I want to I wanna say it's a a 6x6, six six, but it might be an 8x8. I'm, I'm not real sure. Okay, all this comes out. This is a pocket. And you can put photos on these tags. They slide. They come out. And you can even put a photo on the backdrop because it's, you know, what else are you going to do with it? Oh, okay. I was trying to see what that says. It says ha there's a, it's a little ribbon sticker and it says have faith. So all kinds of little areas to do all kinds of different little things. And I know that I'm not showing it very well, but the theme of it is Ohana, which, you know, it means family, obviously. But, you know, um, a divorce kind of happened and my hair's getting all in the way. A divorce happened and this never ended up getting filled up. So, let me know what you think about that. I wish I had brought in my letters. I had invented an alphabet, a 3D alphabet when I was working with the scrapbook industry. I worked for Little Black Dress Designs, which I know does not sound like scrapbooking at all. But it is. It was a scrapbook company. And I had invented, um, yeah, Sweet Dot Alphas. And, you know, they were sold worldwide for a time. But uh, not anymore, unfortunately. And uh, my other hobbies were I was a jewelry designer. I used to work with all kinds of uh, you know, your fine metals and gems and pearls and all that kind of stuff. And um, I've got a, a bunch of books in here. You know, I was published like numerous, numerous times. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it used to be that when I would get into a hobby, I would have to go full force, 100% all the way. You know, um, I had to do it to the max. There was no just do a little, just enjoy it. Uh, I never could do it just to enjoy it. I always had to do it for... To, to prove I was the best, I guess, and to receive the recognition and, and all that, that came with it. Well, I'm not that girl anymore. Um, like with my crochet now, I know there's a higher level I could take it to. Not that I'm that good. I'm really, I'm not. I'm not. I know I'm not. But I'm kind of glad that now that I, I just crochet for the enjoyment of it and to keep my sanity. So, anyway... That's enough of that, right? This whole Christmas and July fairies got me thinking about Christmas, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to share my my ornaments and blah, 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 blah. Well, on to what you come here for normally, crochet stuff. Crystal, by the day, had recently released a top. Like, really recently, as of the making of this upload, um, where you make a uh, two panels that you stitch together, uh, not a front and a back panel, but a left and a right panel. I hope that's making sense. Left and right, and you stitch it up the middle. Well, I got a cough. Hold on a second. Okay. Well, I made it. I finished it completely. I mean, I even had put the... the trimmed it up. All around the bottom, all around the neck, all around the sleeve, blah, blah, blah. Even more than what she did in her tutorial. Well, I, I put it on. I hated the way it looked. It's... You know, I'm a big girl, okay? And a seam up the tum tum on a big girl is not a flattering look. And that is nothing against Crystal. There are a lot of big girl clothes that are manufactured with that freaking seam up the middle. It just 
irks me to no end because it's just it looks crazy it accentuates if you've got a belly who else is with me big girls big girls look am I right or am I right that same up the middle no anyway I frogged it all out I mean everywhere that I had stitched it together frogged it all out and what I ended up with is two kicking scarves and I wish I could show you better but I can't so I'm going to unfold it a little bit here. First of all, let me set that one back over there. I probably should have just had this on already. But, mm, okay. Voila. I love it. I'm not in the least bit sad that the shirt didn't work out, the top, whatever you want to call it. I'm happy with having my two identical scarves. <laughs> and it's a good thing because I got them. Unless somebody wants to buy one. <laughs> Which, in case you guys don't know, usually unless I specify this is for me, anything I make is for sale. If anybody wants to, you know, make an offer, I'm always open to hear offers. And I'm sorry about shaking the... <laughs> so sorry. The Redneck Crochet Channel. Anyway, I like it. So, I worked forever on it and I used the Yarn Art Flowers yarn. Hold on, I'm trying to get a hold of it. <laughs> it's in this little bag. Yarn Art Flowers. It's a really a fine one. I think it's a number one. And I bought it at Hobium. Yeah, Hobium. And, uh,. I took it to town with me today while my son was grocery shopping. And look at this this bag I got at the Dollar Tree, right? I ran into the Dollar Tree to grab a pair of scissors. And then I just happened to see this. And I had already had my project with me, but I had it in my pocketbook. So I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and grab that. Because, first of all, and I know I'm all over the map. This is the leftover yarn from making these. And so... I had taken it with me because I'm making another scarf with what's left. Not this kind of a scarf. It's going to be, you know, a narrow scarf that's long. Long and luxurious. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing with that. And I think that's everything. How long have I kept here? Almost 13 minutes. <gasps> okay. So, let me know what other hobbies do you guys do if you do anything other than crochet. And do you, do you or did you ever stress yourself out about being the best at it? You know, you had to be the most published, the most interviewed, the most all that because I've been there. I've, you know, um, and it wore me out, honestly. Like, I started out, it was really fun to work the conventions for the scrapbook industry. And then um, I had things published through them and I had did interviews through them and um, a segment on DIY Network and... And then same with the jewelry. I had, the jewelry had to be published or it just wasn't good enough. And, and I was selling it on eBay. And I was, you know, I was actually doing really, 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 really well at selling jewelry. But, you know, taste change. Um, what you're into, it, it changes as we get older, right? It, it just happens, right? And so now I've always known how to crochet. I just never really threw myself into it. And I never really... But now, I don't know if it's because I'm older, but my interest has really, this is where my interest is now. And with as much yarn as I have, I hope that it continues to be my interest. And, I mean, I may still make some soft oat ornaments, because the kid in me just wants to do that. But I'm not going to start or continue to invest in scrapbooking supplies and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, do you feel the pressure? Do you feel pressure to outshine outperform be the best or have you ever that's my question thank goodness i'm not that i'm not her anymore now i can just do it because it's relaxing it's my anti-anxiety pill this is you know this is my pill i don't take pills for anxiety even though i have it heck of bad i just do it because i like it and that's it. You know, if I if I get fortunate enough that somebody ever wants to buy anything I make, that's my bonus. But I'm not trying to be, look at me, anymore. I'm not her. I'm 
fine being in the on the sidelines in the background whatever so anyway that's enough about all that let me know how y'all go how y'all are doing what you're up to what's on your hook or not hook if you're doing some other craft right now let me know been good talking to you hope you guys keep coming back bye